What's up? We're Aaron Berlin. We're going to take you down memory lane. For the last 40 years of all seven of our albums. <laughs> When Cities came out, it didn't get great reviews, I remember. But then, like, another, it kind of grew, and people were like, this is their best record. That was the first time that it felt like we were like, we're, we made it. I mean, every show was, like, selling out. So, New Surrender, there was a ton of pressure, like, artistically. I mean, there was definitely pressure because we were on a major yeah. now, but I had I'd also come from a ma uh, being on a major, and I knew, I was trying to tell them, game. I was like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Like Universal's great. We're still good friends with them, but we definitely got the pressure from them. And we, and I think we put a lot of that pressure on ourselves, too, because we were like, we're on a major label. We'd had decent success with, like, a radio single, so we it changed the way we wrote, for sure, and the way we thought about songs, and it, it's a... If you listen to Cities and New Surrender, I feel like it is a huge departure. But I think it was the right record for the right time. A lot of, you know, I, I think a lot of fans prefer Cities over it. But um, we would we re-recorded a song that was on our first or our second record, and that was our single, and that was kind of the turning point for the band that really changed things for us. I mean, Feel Good Drag the single, it, it went to number one on rock radio, which was was huge for us. Totally surreal. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, it's weird looking it was weird. back on it now. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah.